Hello, welcome. I'm going to be showing you how to run DayZ standalone um, with better frames per second. It's pretty much the same as you used to do in Armour, um, Armour's DayZ mod. But there's some different things you can do as well, which some people know about and a lot of people don't. So I'm just putting it out there again so people can see what you can do. So you go to start documents day Z. You open that in an editor, notepad or anything you like. Find these two lines here. Wherever the, you'll have a longer number here. Or two, three, thousand. Put that down to one. Don't forget to leave them bits in at the end. They must be there. Um once you've done that just save close it. And that's that part done. You'll then open your Steam and find your game. And then right click this, go to properties, set launch options, and just type these three three things in here. So you've got CPU count, which is minus six, because I have six cores. Um, high for high priority, so the processor can be used a lot more um, towards DayZ and your max memory so I've got 16 gigabytes in the computer so I've got half of that which is the 8 I believe that's half yeah that is um, so yeah I've got 8 gigabytes of RAM it can use it will never use that much but it's there if it needs to so that's it so obviously this part you're going to want to change to how many cores you've got on your on your processor whether it be two or four, just put them in. Um, high, everyone put that. And then you need to check how much memory you've got. If you've got, I don't know, four, maybe put two. Um, the easiest way to figure out the number you put there is just open calculator. And each gigabyte is. 124 or 1024 and then you just times that so that's one gigabyte there so if you got four and you want to give it four that's what you put it so I think that'll help a couple of people um, sort that bit out yeah once you've done that just save it and close it load your game and I'm now going to load my game and show you what to change in game settings be right back Okay, I'm back, and now I'm going to show you the configuration settings of my in-game, and um, what I use. Um, yeah, video settings, um, I use the 1080p, as you do. Well, some of us do. Um, V-Sync, I turn that on and off, depending on how the game is running, in what areas and stuff, um, or if I get screen tear and... I'll turn that on, but usually I'll leave it off because it's fine um, normally. But quality, I've had to turn all the, some of these down and off um, just to make the extra frames per second count. Um, but it doesn't really change the looks of anything in the game. The game still looks like it would on full settings, but you're just getting more frames per second. So that's them. Uh, the textures put this to auto, um, I've been told that you should put that on to um, what your video settings is but the thing with my graphics card is um, only one gigabyte but if you look at the stats on my graphics card it's actually using three because um, it's using some of the memory from my computer which isn't being used in game and it's putting it towards the graphics so I'll just leave it on auto so it can do its own thing um, but yeah, normal, normal, and we're rendering, and that's what I have to be able to play the game really smooth, and everything still looks nice, weirdly. <laughs> yeah, that's it. So if you follow the, um, if you change the stuff that I've shown into the uh, settings and your launch options and the config files you'll be able to play the game no problem 
and it'll still look nice. Uh, can't remember what's in user interface, nothing really. But yeah, so I'm on quite low settings, but it runs nice. Um, can't remember where the uh, yeah this fucking thing. You really want to turn that off. That's annoying as hell. Motion blur. Every time you turn in, it's blurred. It's annoying. But yeah, you can play. The game looks good. It's smooth. It's nice. And that'll do for me until I get a better graphics card. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching, hope this video helped. And happy hunting. Enjoy. Bye bye.